Hello everybody and welcome back to the ASUS North America YouTube channel. This is JJ once again and we're bringing you guys uh, a video that's going to be covering a brand new feature that we have uh, that we actually launched with our Z87 series of motherboards and that's going to be NFC support. So a lot of you might actually be wondering about how this works because NFC is normally something that you guys uh, find is listed as a feature on say something like a smartphone or on a tablet but not necessarily a motherboard. Um, what we've gone ahead and done is that we actually have developed an external box that we'll be connecting to any of our Z87 series motherboards and when uh, you go ahead and install the corresponding software on let's say your mobile device let's say like a tablet or a smartphone uh, you'll be able to have an increased level of functionality including things like a quick transfer of photos uh, from let's say your phone or from your tablet have the ability to quickly log into your system as well as actually even launch multiple applications with different types of profiles associated with those applications and we're going to actually go through a couple of different of those uh, demonstrations to be able to allow you to see uh, how ASUS has incorporated NFC technology on their series of Z87 based motherboards. So first up, we're just going to give you guys a little bit of a quick breakdown on the actual NFC box uh, that while it does not come included with the majority of our Z87 series motherboards, it does come included with our deluxe dual model. And uh, we're just going to quickly show you what comes included from there. And then from there, we'll take a look at some of these uh, demonstrations of how we can use our NFC technologies uh, with our Z87 series motherboard. Okay guys, so we're just going to quickly show you uh, what the EXO NFC box looks like. Uh, so this is going to be the actual accessory that you can purchase that will work with our line of Z87 series motherboards. Uh, so this is a standalone item, as I noted. If you purchase the Z87 Deluxe Dual, it already comes included with the NFC box uh, inside. Uh, so that is just something to keep in mind. Now, uh, first up here, we've got the actual NFC box itself. Uh, the sensing area is approximately here in the center. Uh, one of the other cool items, though, that it does feature is actually an integrated USB 3 high performance hub. Um, so there is an actual USB 3 cable that comes included with here. So if you go ahead and make the connection here uh, to the USB 3 port on your motherboard, you're not losing that port and we've actually providing you a total of two along with the NFC functionality. Now in addition to that, if you might not have the latest generation smartphone or tablet that actually has support for NFC, we have included an actual NFC fob right here. Uh, so this is a nice little addition right here that allows you to go ahead and take advantage of features uh, such as the quick log on or the quick launch functionality as well as uh, initiating uh, other aspects uh, that you can go ahead and deem within the profile support. So this is a nice inclusion if you don't have the latest generation hardware to enable NFC. And lastly, of course, we've got the support disk. You do need this disk. It does include uh, the supplemental driver that will be required for the NFC box to be fully activated and functional. So make sure to keep that in mind. And as always, you get the latest version of the software from support.asus.com. Now that we've gone ahead and wrapped that up, let's actually go ahead into our, our, our test bed here and show you guys uh, AI Suite 3 along with the actual NFC setup and uh, be able to give you a demonstration of how NFC works. Okay guys, so we've gone ahead and set up our Z87 testbed here. We're actually utilizing a Maximus 6 Extreme uh, with its integrated 811 AC in terms of our wireless. Keep in mind that when you're going through the setup process, uh, you do ideally want to make sure and have all your connections exist on the same network as NFC is a bootstrapper technology so it goes ahead and leverages things like your integrated Bluetooth or your wireless as a mechanism to be able to complete point-to-point uh, -point transfers and things along those lines. Uh, with that noted, let's go ahead and actually take a look here at our desktop and what we're going to quickly do is just launch our AI Suite 3 which is our system utility and uh, this is the primary interface for AI Suite 3 which is pretty straightforward but what we're going to do is uh, click over here into the menu and in the menu, you see we have a couple of different options. Once we've completed the installation uh, for the actual NFC software, you'll see that there's a box that says NFC Express. This is different than our Wi-Fi Go package, which also offers a, a really robust set of uh, functionality that you can use with smartphones and tablets as well. Um, let's go ahead and just click into the NFC Express, and you're going to see that we have four modules that are available to you. One of them is going to be a Windows 8 logon, so this is a great option uh, for a one-touch logon, uh, which we'll go ahead and we'll demonstrate shortly, but essentially you could go ahead and take something like the included fob uh, or your smartphone or your tablet, pass it over the actual front of the sensor area on the NFC box, and just quickly log into your desktop without having to enter any passwords or anything along those lines. Uh, secondary option is going to be Quick Launch, which will allow us to go ahead and define uh, profiles with associated applications to automatically launch. I uh, will go ahead and show this to you. One of the really cool things is you can dynamically set it to be um, you know, one application to as many as 10 or applications or more. Really up to you in terms of customizing that when you go up to your system and you initiate it, um, what do you want to kind of immediately there visit you in terms of you know, your content uh, that you want to be able to look at or work with, uh, whatever it might be. 
Uh, we also have an included function for remote desktop for you guys that might be able to take advantage of the remote desktop functionality. It's far simpler uh, in terms of the actual setup and usage than it would normally be to initiate remote desktop functionality where you can just take, let's say, your tablet, your smartphone, pass it over, it'll create the functionality and you'll have full on-screen control, gesture movement, and a lot of different options uh, for you guys that are interested in using remote desktop. And lastly, uh, we've got Photo Express, uh, which is a great way for you to be able to take your smartphone or your tablet and the latest set of pictures that you might have on there, you can go ahead and just quickly pass over to it and automatically transfer it without having to go through multiple steps or have it be more complicated or maybe take out your memory card uh, or go ahead and attach an actual cable uh, from your actual product to the, uh, to the device in question, whether it's going to be our desktop uh, or our small form factor box or whatever it might be. So with that, let's actually go ahead and jump into some of these demonstrations. Okay guys, so we've gone ahead and uh, restarted our system. This could also be a system that maybe you're pulling out of sleep or hibernation and you're at your actual lock screen. So here at this lock screen, normally you would go ahead and swipe up or move up with your cursor and then you would have your password uh, and you would type that in and be able to get into your system. Um, from here, we don't have to do that because we can go ahead and take our NFC fob or let's say our smartphone or our tablet and we can just pass that over the actual sensing area on the actual NFC box to be able to get into our operating system. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see right there, we've gone ahead and quickly logged into our operating system. So that takes us by default there to actually our live tile interface. Um, but one of the really next cool functions is that we can go ahead and automatically launch a number of applications. So what we can go ahead and now do at this point is we can just go ahead and click in on our desktop. And if you were at your desktop, all we're going to have to do is once again go over the actual area. And you can see right there, I've gone ahead and quick launched a number of set applications. So if we go ahead and take a look here, I've opened up everything from... Uh, our web browser, of course, we visited our, our favorite page, which is the Asus RG YouTube page. Um, I went ahead and opened up my Steam account. Uh, I went ahead and opened up my Skype account. Uh, you know, I have quick launch here, my SSD tweak it information, because I always want to find out a little bit of information about the way that my system might be running, reference information about my Raider. I've got Picasa, because maybe I'm interested in um, uploading pictures to my system, which we're going to be doing with our Photo Express, and maybe I want to upload those, or I want to do different things with them. Uh, you know, got VLC for playing back, pro, uh, you know, different types of files, FUBAR for listening to all of my music, uh, you know, you got even Unigen, which could be a different type of 3D application, and even Crystal Disk. And you can see all those were automatically launched uh, just by us go ahead and utilizing our NFC quick function. So the next function that we're actually going to show you is pretty cool, um, and that's going to be centric to a lot of things uh, that people do with their smartphone or their tablets, and that's take pictures. So let's go ahead and... Uh, take out our new Nexus 7 here and take a look at the Photo Express function. So guys, actually a quick note before we jump into our Photo Express demonstration, we also want to show you that it is possible to not only execute the quick login, but also the quick launch simultaneously. Uh, the only difference is going to be instead of going ahead and swiping it over quickly and pulling back from the sensing area, we're essentially going to leave it there in the sensing area for a little bit longer and that will actually allow us to execute both functions. So let's go ahead and bring it over. And we can see right there that uh, if we go ahead and now click into our desktop, we've actually gone ahead and quick launched all our applications. And so it uh, allows you really to have a great deal of flexibility entirely up to you in terms of how you want to customize your logon experience. Do you want to just log into your system and then launch your applications? Or do you want to log into your system with everything already launched? So let's go ahead and check out Photo Express. Okay guys, so the next option that we're going to show you here is relative to something a lot of us do and that's take photos. Um, so what we've gone ahead and done here is take our, our new Nexus 7 and we're just going to go ahead and swipe this over. Um, but we've gone ahead and already installed our uh, a Wi-Fi Go NFC application on here and we set it to Photo Express. So once we've gone ahead and set it to Photo Express, as you can see right here, there's actually four options. Uh, the Windows Logon, the Quick Launch, the Remote Desktop, and the Photo Express. Uh, it's going to ask us to go ahead and move that over and then go ahead and touch the screen to start the actual transfer process. Once it does that, we'll actually get a screen that pops up and allows us to know that the transfers are occurring. Now the transfers will depend on the wireless performance of your wireless network. Uh, so do keep that in mind. Of course, we're utilizing a high performance ASUS dual band enabled router. So we're going to have pretty heavy performance, even though the router is actually close to about uh, 85 feet away from us. Um, so we're just going to quickly open up a, a file transfer screen here, uh, which is allow us to go ahead and see the pictures show up there in real time. So let's go ahead and start this transfer process. So we've got a little bit of a confirmation there. We're going to go ahead and press touch to begin. And uh, we can see right there that it's gone ahead and 
showing our pictures here real time. It's giving us a transfer screen indicator on the actual tablet. And if we now go ahead and look inside here, uh, we can see a couple of different photos that we took. And it was simple as that, a really easy experience uh, being able to take the latest content that you've gone ahead and captured on your smartphone or your tablet and transferring over to your PC. Okay guys, so lastly, before we go ahead and wrap things up, a, lot of, a couple of you guys might be wondering how sensitive the actual NFC uh, fob might be, even if we have it inside something else. So maybe you don't want to have it attached uh, to like a keychain. Maybe you want to keep it in something like your wallet. What you can go ahead and do is just uh, put it here on the back side of the wallet and we can go ahead and directly put it over and you'll still see it works without any issues. So with that, let's go ahead and wrap things up. Okay guys, so uh, we've gone ahead and wrapped up this overview video, giving you guys some insight into brand new technology that once again, us being industry leaders have rolled out to our series of motherboards uh, with NFC Express. Uh, hopefully you guys have seen how NFC can offer you guys some really cool functionality and being able to make things easier in terms of being able to not only transfer, let's say, photos to your system, uh, being able to log into it, as well as even launch your most frequently used applications. Or for you guys out there that are a little bit more advanced, being able to take advantage of really cool functionality that's normally complicated set up with things like remote desktop. As always, if you guys have any questions, comments, feedback, we'd love to hear them here on the YouTube page. Feel free to drop them into the comment section or also feel free to email us. Uh, the Wi-Fi Go Suite is well as our NFC suite is something that we're continually working on and we'd love to be able to make it even more useful and more functional for you guys out there. So we'd appreciate hearing your feedback. As always, feel free to go ahead and hit us up and visit us at our ASUS North American Facebook pages as well as our ASUS North American Twitter pages. So with that, make sure and like and subscribe to the video and take care and take it easy.